Welcome back to 4D Dig, everyone. Have you ever met a situation that your Mac flashing a folder icon with question mark? Well, I did. So I check it out. When the folder with question mark shows on your Mac, it means your Mac startup disk has an issue. Mac OS cannot find the startup disk, so it won't boot. The reasons causing this issue to happen could be the following. 1. Hardware damaged, like hard drive, motherboard. 2. The cable connecting the driver and the motherboard is loose or damaged. 3. The system files for Mac startup and boot are corrupt. 4. Incompatible software or a failed software update. 5. Some faulty external devices corrupt your Mac, like USB drive, hard drive, display. Now let us fix it step by step. First, if the Mac hardware is damaged, go to the repair center to look for help. Second, unplug all your external devices and reboot your Mac again to see if the Mac can boot up. Third, reset NVRAM or PRAM with 4D Dig Mac Boot Genius. If you want a full guide about how to reset NVRAM and PRAM or how to reset SMC on your Mac, you can try a tool named 4D Dig Mac Boot Genius. This is a free tool. It have a full detailed guide about NVRAM and SMC. Follow the guide step by step you can reset your MacBook SMC and NVRAM. Check out the link in the description if you are interested. Due to the time reason I will not show you the whole process, you can check out this video. Fourth, reset NVRAM or PRAM on your Mac. Shut down your Mac first. Then turn it on. Then press and hold Option, Command, P and R keys for about 20 seconds. After restarts, check if your problem is solved. If not, follow next method. Fifth, boot Mac into safe mode. Shut down your Mac first. Press the power button to turn it on. And immediately press and hold the shift key until you see the login window. Then you should see safe boot in the menu bar. Now you can get into deleted some third-party apps you download from nowhere. Sixth, use disk utility to fix. Turn on your Mac, then immediately press and hold Command and R keys until you see an Apple logo. Here select disk utility. Select your disk and click the first aid button to check and repair. Once done, restart to check if your issue resists. If this still not working, follow the last method. 7th, reinstall macOS. Turn on your Mac. Then press and hold Command and R keys until the Apple logo appears to enter recovery mode. Select Reinstall macOS option and continue the process. Then wait for the reinstall process complete. After reinstallation you can set up your Mac again. Okay, that's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have the chance, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.